What is up everybody? It's Justin Romont here coming at you with another video. Today we are talking about the cinematic black bars. You see these on so many vloggers, YouTubers out there. I know it's not the perfect way to do it, like we're not filming on a RED or an Alexa or anything like that, but it does give a cool cinematic look. Just be able to throw this on your cinematic sequences you do in your vlogs or short films or whatever. I personally, right now, I'm shooting on the Sony a7 III. Because this camera only shoots in the 16x9 resolution, I have to physically crop it and throw the black bars on there to make it look the cinematic anamorphic feel. So today we're talking about a couple different things, two things specifically. One, how to actually do it, the smooth move in and the move out of the black bars. Number two, what I'm doing is I'm including that smooth move in, move out of the cinematic bars preset down in the description below. So all you have to do is import that preset and drag and drop it on your adjustment layer and boom, you are done. So much easier than having to go in and keyframe it every single time. That does get annoying. So let's dive right into it. All right, so in here in Premiere Pro, I have a little sample sequence that I threw together of uh, a guy pouring a beer at an intrinsic smokehouse and brewery, one of my clients. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna throw on an adjustment layer, and it's really simple to actually add the cinematic bars. If you already know how to do this, simply click the link in the description and just download it, start using it right now. It's so much easier than having to do this every single time. But here's how you do it. If you add on the adjustment layer, you go to effects, type in crop. You drag and drop the crop on there, and then that's gonna pull up the little crop in the effects control panel. Now say you want the crop to start at the beginning, then you just start with it. You're gonna select keyframe the top and the bottom. That's gonna freeze the crop where it's at right now, which is nothing. And then what you do is you hit shift over, over, over. That's gonna keyframe over 15 frames. You type in 12, type in 12. Then you select the two final frames. You two finger click on a Mac and click ease in. That's going to create a little smooth transition of it actually coming into the frame. So now you go back and watch it. it comes in nice and smooth. Now what you want to do, slide the cursor over to when you actually want it to come out. What you can do is just copy those, drag it where you want it, paste, and then just reverse it. So select the, the last two and put it in the front about the same distance apart. So just doing that, you can see and it just comes out like that. So pretty simple, that's just how you add it on there. Now onto the Ninja part. This will save you so much time, just download it in the description. So this is what it's gonna look like. Whenever you download it, it's gonna look like a Premiere Pro preset. I titled it JR Smooth Cinnabars In and Out. So what you wanna do, pull up your Premiere Pro, go to the effects, and go to presets. You're gonna two finger click import presets. You go to wherever you saved it, you click on it, click open. It's gonna import the preset into Premiere Pro for you. So you can see now under presets, we got smooth cinnabars in out. So now if we hide this other adjustment layer, we go, we drag another one on, which I'll play it for you. You can see right now it doesn't have anything, right? You go to the effects, smooth cinnabars in out, drag and drop that on the adjustment layer, and boom you have your animated smooth cinnabars coming in and out. Now what I have it preset up for is about 10 seconds. Now what you need to do if you want to increase that, drag the adjustment layer out however far you need to, select on the keyframes, and just drag those to where you want it to come out. Easy as that. Customize it to whatever you need it to be. This stuff is so good. I would be completely okay if I had a sponsor from Runa. Just saying, if you see this video, Runa. Well, that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, drop a comment down below if you have any further questions at all. I'm here to help. And hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell for notifications. And we'll catch you in the next video. Later.